you so much for inviting me to this conference. Uh, I will share with you uh, our uh, results concerning the um, uh, contribution of genetics to COVID-19 severity. Uh, as you have heard uh, also uh, this morning and yesterday, um, the robust and traditional methods uh, uh, used for uh, identification of uh, genes uh, related to COVID-19 severity um, are GWAS on one side concerning common variants and burden test on the other side concerning uh, uh, rare variants. However, these methods uh, um, are able to uh, identify a low numbers of uh, loci uh, uh, up to September uh, 20, uh, 22, uh, uh, 21. So up to now, um, there are almost uh, uh, 34 loci uh, um, uh, in spread over the, the genome uh, from US and uh, um, very few uh, uh, concerning burden tests. So I would like to present a new method uh, based on the machine learning, uh, which is considering uh, all rare variants and uh, the, uh, uh, um, the coding part of the common variants. Uh, we call uh, this new method the post-Mendelian method or IPGS method. Uh, that is the name of the score that we generate. Uh, so uh, you can see on the, uh, on the right that we tested uh, uh, um, more than uh, um, 100,000 features and 4% 4, 4 of them are uh, extracted as uh, relevant for uh, covenant severity. This is the core setting. Uh, these are uh, more than 4,000 of SARS-CoV-2 infected, sub infected subjects of different severity. And we divided the cohort in the training set for feature selection, then another training set for model fitting, and uh, again, another, uh, another uh, uh, set for testing the model. Uh, here you can see uh, the, the strategy for, for gene discovery. Uh, so starting from the training set uh, about 2,000 uh, uh, infected subjects from the Italian population, we then we go through a binarization of the phenotype, a, um, a booleanization of the uh, all exome sequencing data, the feature structure by last regularization, and then we get these results uh, uh, that you can see here uh, for percent of the destructive features, uh, some of the uh, 25% um, uh, of them were sex specific. Uh, here uh, you can see the, the strategy for the uh, uh, booleanization uh, of the all exome sequencing data. Uh, two different strategies, one for ultra rare, rare and low frequency variants. So the gene is set as one if the variant is present, as zero if the variant is not present. And different uh, combination concerning the common polymorphisms are considered uh, so that uh, the, you set uh, uh, one if a, a specific combination, if you have a specific combination, the, for example, one green, you set one blue. If you have an, uh, a, a different combination of po coding polymorphisms within the same gene, so the the, the strategy is uh, gene based. Uh, here you can see that the first uh, uh, results of the uh, application of, of the lasso regular, regularization. Uh, for example, you can you can uh, see here that uh, you have the. Um, uh, uh, the histogram, uh, um, up the upper histogram, meaning that uh, the age, comorbidity, and uh, and this uh, sex, the male sex, uh, uh, are related to the uh, severity. And uh, on the opposite, you have a specific uh, uh, variance. So this is the androgen receptor with uh, um, uh, PolyQ uh, um, uh, below uh, 22. Uh, um, uh, that 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 is protected, for example, and this uh, and the uh, and the pipeline of the last regularization. By this method, we identified a number of uh, of genes that you uh, can see here that uh, then uh, uh, were. Um, 
validated functionally. Uh, and uh, uh, concerning uh, the, the, the side of the uh, phenotype, instead, we use the order of the logistic regression in order to simplify the phenotype that you uh, have you heard that uh, uh, is uh, uh, usually uh, divided in the WHO uh, clinical classification of disease, the debated, the CPAP, BPAP, uh, oxygen support, and respiratory support, and, and also the uh, asymptomatic, uh, oligo asymptomatic ones. Uh, uh, so we want to, to remove the effect of age and sex, uh, um, uh, so avoiding uh, bias of selection. And so we binarize the phenotype. So we used, let's say, uh, the, the, the red ones uh, versus the green ones. And uh, these were also divided uh, by sex. As you, can, as you can see, there is a shift on, on, on the right of the female because uh, um, females are uh, less affected than, than males. Uh, then, uh, then we generated an uh, in, uh, integrated polygenic score um, that was built uh, we, uh, using four uh, uh, um, uh, uh, different uh, uh, set of variants. So the common ones, the low frequency, the rare and the ultra rare ones. Uh, and so we uh, counted the, the number of uh, those features that, that, that are um, prone to severity. That means those on the, uh, the histogram uh, on the top uh, and the last regularization ver uh, versus sorry, minus those that are uh, protective. Uh, that means histogram in the in the bottom in the last regularization. And then we calibrate a different factors uh, for common low frequency and rare and ultra rare variants because uh, we know that the impact usually the impact on the protein is different uh, uh, um, uh, in these uh, uh, four, four different set of variants uh, being higher in the ultra rare ones. And so uh, you can see uh, in the left uh, bottom the silhouette for a factor F calibration. So we calibrated the factor F uh, uh, in, in those silhouettes uh, that uh, that is able to uh, better divide the uh, um, affected red uh, uh, from uh, uh, not not affected um, uh, green. Uh, and uh, on the bottom uh, right, you have the uh, the number of the weighting factor that then was used in the integrated polygenic score or IPGS uh, for the uh, prediction. Indeed, we uh, already uh, posted on the MEND archive uh, early this year uh, um, a simplified uh, formula uh, considering uh, the common uh, plus the rare. And then uh, a few days ago, we posted on the MEND archive another paper in which the formula was improved uh, dividing uh, between the common uh, dividing the, the, the common and the low frequency and between the rare dividing the rare and the ultra rare with different uh, uh, calibration of the f factor so this uh, led to an improving on the model of the model uh, yeah here, here you can see the model predictivity uh, so uh, uh, the training set uh, uh, used for the model fitting and the test set for the model testing uh, and the uh, prediction. Uh, um, uh, uh, so so uh, 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 indeed the uh, we we um, sorry I have lose what's happened okay. Okay, um, so indeed I can explain. So uh, here you can uh, um, you can see the IPGS distribution, uh, and you can appreciate that blue is uh, shifted on the left in respect to um, the, uh, uh, to the orange on, on the right. So the uh, uh, different distribution of the IPGS in non-severe blue and severe cases here, uh, overall females and males uh, separately. And uh, here you can appreciate the uh, performances of accuracy, precision, sensitivity, and specificity using different cohorts of European ancestry separately. And here you can see the, the same uh, overall. Um, 
and the silhouette on the bottom using the hypothesis zero, uh, so that means shuffling the IPGS uh, um, randomly, and you can see the dot that is uh, on, the, on one side of the silhouette, meaning that uh, indeed uh, 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 this is not randomly attributed. Again, we used also a, a, a more traditional method, so the univari univariate logistic regression uh, calculating the um, odd, ra uh, odd ratio, uh, and, uh, uh, and you can see here that uh, IPGS contributes uh, uh, significantly uh, together with the age and sex of the uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, severity. Uh, these are the pathways of the genes that were selected by this new method, uh, including, of course, immune cells and uh, others. And uh, here you have a match uh, between the uh, um, uh, loci um, linked uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, between loci in linkage disequilibrium with the com uh, with the coding variance and uh, uh, the match with the with the with the features extracted by this new method, and you can see that all those loci uh, identified by GWAS analysis that are in linked to the disequilibrium with the coding variance uh, are indeed identified by our, our method. Uh, the same happens uh, concerning the uh, the comparison with the uh, traditional burden test um, and, the, um, and the comparison with this new method um, and, uh, and the same gene uh, was extracted that is the TOLAC receptor 7. Uh, as I said then we also uh, did a further validation, functional validation of additional genes uh, that had that were not uh, identified by the traditional methods. So we concentrated first uh, on those genes that uh, were sex specific. Uh, for example, uh, um, is that you can see in these slides, uh, there are some genes that are sex specific because they are either located on the X chromosome, like uh, to like receptor seven, or are um, uh, strongly uh, um, uh, influenced by the uh, uh, the androgen, so controlled by testosterone, uh, like uh, like for example, uh, self uh, and the uh, like receptor three. Um, here is a overall view of the uh, uh, examples of the uh, specific gene genes contributing with different uh, uh, kind of variants to the COVID-19 severity. So example of ultra rare variants, rare variants, low frequency variants, and common variants. And here uh, you, you can see better uh, uh, some examples. Uh, these are those genes uh, already identified uh, by GWAS analysis and linked to the equilibrium with the, common, uh, with the coding variance. Uh, so for example, as the genes uh, related to the, uh, to this, uh, the enzyme cell um, RNAs uh, L uh, that is related then to the uh, function of the to like receptor 7, so, this, so to the sensor of the RNA within the cells, the PP genes that is uh, um, <coughs> the uh, signals translator for the production of, of interferon. In, in, uh, if NAR2, that is the receptor of the interferon itself, uh, SFTDP, uh, which is on the fluid on the, of, uh, 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 over the epithelium, uh, over the epithelium in the lung. And again, uh, a zero blood group that is related of the less uh, uh, polymerization of von Willebrand factors and then the formation of the thrombus. Uh, these are examples of common variants in your left. And again, other common variants that we validated by functional studies like uh, the common polymorphism into like receptor 3, that, which is a sensor of RNA uh, of the virus, uh, or for example, CELP, that is a protein that, is, uh, that activates von Willebrand factors and then uh, the thrombus and, uh, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and then all, all the pathogenesis related that, that is well known related to, to thrombus formation. Uh, on, your right, on your right, you have an example of rare variants starting from the TOLAC receptor 7, uh, uh, which is a gene on the X chromosome, and the impact is uh, uh, so strong that uh, may simulate a, a Mendelian disorder within the families. 
uh, and also other genes that were uh, already identified, uh, like rare variants in Trilac receptor 3, TCAM1, that is strip protein, and uh, CFTR, and, and uh, is two as uh, uh, protected variants and others. Here you have the um, uh, you can see the segregation of IPGS, so you can follow the, uh, uh, the score uh, and the severity score within the families and uh, the, co the combination of the uh, value of the severity score and the, and the real phenotype. Uh, and uh, uh, finally, uh, the, uh, uh, the big advantage of uh, the um, of this uh, uh, score is the clinical interpretability. Uh, you can appreciate on the left uh, that there are some individuals that are better predict uh, that are better predicted by the PGS and the bottom uh, the arrows um, uh, in respect to the sex uh, uh, and the age and. Uh, um, you can appreciate the details on the on the box on the right, and um, and this in turn can also be used for the uh, treatment of the patients. I, I can uh, show you some example here. For for example, um, uh, those that are. Um, uh, 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 those individuals that have uh, to like receptor 7 variants can be treated, for example, with uh, um, um, interferon and specifically with, uh, uh, with an interferon gamma, uh, um, which is uh, uh, less uh, dangerous than the interferon beta. And, uh, um, for example, um, uh, you can appreciate on the on the right the uh, the self the self that is related to the uh, to the uh, thrombus formation and the uh, possibility of tre treatment patients with these markers the homozygosity of the asparagine and the self gene with the uh, crizunlizumab <coughs> which is a um, uh, not anti uh, antibody uh, uh, against uh, self, uh, and we uh, recently received the uh, the green light for uh, from Novartis uh, to um, perform a clinical trial in uh, in this uh, uh, in this kind of uh, uh, patients. Um, uh, in conclusion. Uh, um, uh, I want to stress the strength and also the, the, the weakness uh, uh, of uh, this uh, new model. Uh, in one side, we, uh, among the strengths, uh, we have used the oligosymptomatic uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2 infected subjects instead of the control population. And this is an advantage in accuracy. Uh, we used a relatively low number of subjects, so for thousands, that is relatively low in respect to the classical GWAS studies. Um, we concentrate on the coding variants, that means that is easily interpretable, and we treat it differently uh, because the effect is expected different, uh, uh, um, a common, low-frequency, rare, and ultra-rare variants. Um, uh, uh, those uh, uh, features, uh, structures, uh, include uh, uh, the uh, already identified loci of GWAS analysis uh, that are in to do with video coding, and the confirmation of the methods was done in the five different courts, all of the European ancestry. Uh, the advantage of the IPGS is that this is a, uh, this is a um, easily interpretable for the uh, uh, identification of, uh, of the treatment, of an adjuvant treatment for, for patients. Of course, there are also weaknesses that, uh, that are, that is not, uh, this is a method not yet uh, validated in different uh, ancestries. Uh, this is ongoing and is not yet validated in different uh, diseases, still ongoing. And uh, the test is the test on the prediction and not on the, on, uh, the statistical relevance of the single loci. And so this needs a further validation, either by other methods or uh, by functional studies. I want to thank uh, all the collaborators, uh, uh, first of all within Italy and then also uh, um, outside Italy in Europe and uh, also in Canada and uh, all the, uh, the groups that contributed to the host genetic initiative uh, um, and uh, specifically the uh, Olexom Genome or working group of the uh, host genetic initiative. Thank you so much for your attention.